Let's come home from that live image of New York now to talk about sacred land. As you can see, it's rich in ancient petroglyphs, land once inhabited by the native Paiute people. But a nearby dam that was built years and years ago could threaten those generations of history. New at 6.30, News 3's Nathan O'Neill takes us to Arrow Canyon, just north of Moapa. I want to be able to teach people. You know, Tyler Sampson to... has a deep connection to this land. All these mountains clear around this place, they all mean something. They all have stories, they all have medicine. And if you look toward the Arrow Canyon walls, you'll see the petroglyphs left behind by some of Tyler's ancient Paiute ancestors. Keeping our, our culture strong, uh, teaching our youth, uh, but we can't, we can't do that if, if all of our places are not being taken care of and not being honored. But generations of cultural history are buried because of this dam, which was built in the 1930s. This dam simply isn't working the way it was intended to. Archaeologist uh, Andrew and, McCarthy says uh, the dam is jeopardizing these ancient treasures. The consequences of that are now something that w we need to reevaluate. Re over several decades, massive amounts of silt made its way through the canyon here. And just take a look, you can see how packed it is here. The question though is, how much history has already been lost? All this flood water, all this water coming and, and mud coming off of it is, is, is destroying this as yeah, we speak. Right. The dam was built to protect communities below from flash flooding, but that forces the water to back up in the canyon. And the Bureau of Land Management says its top priority is to keep the dam functioning. But conservationists want the BLM to remove the silt, which has built up to almost 20 feet in some places. As for Tyler, he's hoping his tribe can help restore this land. This still speaks to us. Before these pieces of his heritage are lost forever. It's a different world out here, and I think that's um, um, the beauty. Nathan O'Neill, News.